what's up everybody it's havoc with havoc gaming and more uh i'm back I'm starting to be able to add videos to my youtube again uh, a couple years ago i did one for the razor charters v2 as you can see it's up above and over there I always get confused when i'm looking at the camera uh, this one i did one for switching of your key maps to make it easy go through them follow the lights quick and simple but I got a lot of comments saying they want to be able to switch the profile uh, the same way. Uh, profile switching, you know, some people use it for a number pad. You might be gaming, you want to switch your profile. When you go over to Photoshop, you just switch the profile and then you can switch your individual key maps inside. Two ways to do it, pretty simple. Uh, the first way is going to basically follow the same concept that we have for the key map switching, just using a regular button. And then the second one, we're going to use the hypershift, uh, which I think is the better way just to keep anything from happening while you're gaming or while you're in Photoshop. You don't want to accidentally switch them. So the first one, we'll go ahead and go over the key mapping. As you can see, I have it set up here. Uh, gaming 1, Gaming 2. Gaming 2 is the one I set up for us, just examples. Uh, I set that up back when we first did the actual key map switching. Let's make sure we go back to Gaming 1. All right, first way, just standard way. Uh, we we'll use button one for this one, which is over here. Go to switch profile. You want to go to your next profile, just like you did before. Hit save. And then this one, when I press it, will take you to gaming two. Again, just like on the key mapping, you're going to have to press one again. You're going to, whoop, 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 not that one, switch profile, and you need to go back to the previous and save. Close that out. Then if you press the one, you'll go back to your first profile. And there's your second profile. So that works out really well. Uh, but like I said, if you're in the middle of a game or if you're trying to do something, and you go through these key maps or you accidentally hit that button and then your Photoshop stuff's coming up instead of what you're trying to do in your gaming or vice versa. Uh, it could be a pain. So first off, let's reset these. You would just click the button, go back to default, save. That's the good thing. Anything you can do, you take it away, which is what we like to do. Let's go up to gaming two. Click the button, select the default. Make sure you hit save. And then close. So that was option number one. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Hopefully I didn't go through it too fast. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into option number two. So as I mentioned, it's the Razer Hypershift. Uh, I've done a video on this one as well. It's basically just a button you can push to get you to a whole nother set of keys so that's what we want to do we're going to use these two uh, I strongly suggest you don't use buttons that you're going to be pushing at the same time like a W and your jump button if you're gaming because then you're going to end up going into a whole nother set of keys for this example I'm just going to use these two here so I'm going to open up number 16 I'm going to go over here to Razor Hypershift and save now, the big difference between these, if you are not in Razor Hypershift, the button stays green. Okay? When you go into Razor Hypershift, you know you're in it because the buttons will change to orange. How we get there, obviously, is the standard button at the bottom. Hit the Hypershift button. And then, once you hit that, it's ready for you to do anything else inside these. See, right now it's all set up just exactly the same. So what you got to do is click the button right next to it, switch profile, go to next, and save. Give that a second to save. Now we're on gaming one. I can hit that. It goes right to gaming two. Again, just like everything else, we have to have a way to go backwards and 
because you just don't want to get stuck. You see here, there's no way to go back to Gaming Profile 1 unless you open Snaps. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Hit the button 16. We'll go over here to the Razor Hyper Shift and we'll hit Save. Give that a second and then go back down your standard button, your hyper shift. See, so yeah, green, you know you're in standard. Orange, you know you're in hyper shift. We're going to select 17, orange highlight. We're going to switch profiles. Now, I only have two profiles. You can set up however many profiles I guess you want to, and you would just continue next, next, next previous or uh, you can select a specific profile if you, if you want to it just depends on how you want to scroll through your profiles at that point since we only have two and we're just showing examples we're going to go back to previous we're going to hit save we'll close that now you can see up here at the top I'm at gaming 2 we're going to come over here and press 16 and 17 takes us back to gaming one 16 and 17 gaming two that is the two ways of switching profiles uh, that you can uh, very easily switch your profiles it doesn't affect your your key maps oh I hit my speed doesn't affect your key mapping uh, you can still see I can go through all my key mapping with the side button. Okay, the only thing it shows is now I have two hyper shift keys. Get those off. I can go right back to 16 and it, it, everything goes where it's supposed to go. Now you can tell I went back and I hit the buttons and it still takes you through them. It is programmed. It is there. So it doesn't matter if you're in standard or hyper shift here. It's going to work either way. Second question I was asked, or third, I guess that would be, would be the, the lighting per the profile. I'm still working on the lighting. And you can set up profiles with lighting to where when you switch them, it'll change the lighting profile that you have. But you're going to have to connect that through your profiles. Uh, I can do another video on that later if you like. But for this one, I think we've pretty much covered all the bases. It's a quick, short video. Uh, it's basically following the same guidelines as, as key map switching. We're just giving you two options. So I really love this, this Tartarus V2. Uh, it's been phenomenal. So many things you can do with it. If you have any questions, be sure to, to leave a comment down below. Uh, what I'll do is I, I'll go through every comment. If you go back and look, I've tried to reply to every single one. I will do the definite research that I need to do and I'll try and get something out there to help you guys. So I hope this helps in some small way. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching the video and guys, I will be back with anything else that you guys need help with. Thanks again. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.